Here we are at Stony Brook University at the Simon Center for Geometry and Physics. Inside, there's a lovely art gallery where this month there happens to be an exhibit of my sculpture. I'll give you a quick video tour to give you an idea of the different sorts of things I like to make and the different materials I work with. Here in front, we have a piece made of uh, 902 different pieces of hardwood. It's called Roads Untaken, and you can look at the different paths that go along. And here's a piece made of aluminum. It's called Whoville. There are several pieces made out of playing cards that have slots and folds to join them together. And some prototype models of uh, laser-cut wood that might turn into large sculptures someday. Here's a polyhedron covered in fur and some nylon sand dollars. A couple of acrylic pieces are turning there in the background. And on the far wall here are three different paper models that later turned into giant cardboard sculptures. A digital print, and this sculpture is made of cherry. It's done in the style of Leonardo da Vinci. A couple more acrylic pieces. I love the way the shadows move on the wall in the background there. This red one is made of powder-coated steel, and the other is 72 pencils, and a number of other acrylic pieces. Uh, they're called salamanders, cage work, and skinks. On this plinth, there are some 3D printed models that have a kind of an organic flavor to them. This one is called Blorb. And the second plinth has some more geometric models. A couple more 3D printed models. And back here, there's a video wall. Uh, the screen fell down that moment, but they're going to put it back up. And a table of puzzles. These are five different puzzles that you can take apart and put back together. They range from a fairly easy to quite challenging. This is Battered Moonlight. Again, I love the way the shadows move. Here's something you can make with paper clips. And a couple more laser cut wood pieces. And finally, an aluminum piece called Bathysphere, which you saw on the poster. If you're in Stony Brook in the next month, I hope you have a chance to see this exhibit, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you can't get there, then this video tour will have to suffice to give you a flavor for the mathematical sculptures that I like to create. And I hope it also inspires you to think about the many connections between mathematics and art.